The Rot is a monstrous place where a forgotten war was fought long ago. The forces that fought here left nothing behind but the corpses of unrecognizable beasts. Welcome to another Crafty Thursday. I'm Frankie, and today we're actually gonna continue the Rot playlist. Let's actually start adding some pieces to our setting. We're gonna be crafting some scattered terrain for the Rot. These are the remains of something very similar to a black dragon. Let's do this. Let's start off by crafting the horns or the ribs, or whatever you want to call them. I want to use aluminum as my filler. Roll it up like a spike. Make sure it's nice and tight. I prep about eight. You rarely ever want to craft one thing of something. I cover the aluminum using air dry clay. You actually want some abnormality in the clay. I'm using Crayola because it's cheaper, but it tends to crack. I'm actually hoping for the cracks and I'm purposely using it for that. The only issue is I don't control where it cracks so it's a bit of a gamble. I add details to the clay using aluminum. I have to prop it up on something to add the detail. It doesn't really work when I'm pushing in on one side but my hands on the other one getting rid of the texture on the other side. It's a bit of a dilemma here but I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to do it without losing too much texture. At first I add the separations with my sculpting tool. This is definitely not the best way to add the separation detail. It felt awkward and slow, but I'm always looking for new ways to improve my process without actually sacrificing the overall quality. I start using string instead of my tool, and I finish the job in half the time. This did the job better than any of my tools could have. This is awesome. Since the video with the shells, I started to speed up the process of drying the clay in a small kitchen oven. It's really more of a toaster, but you get the idea. And to my surprise, the Crayola didn't actually crack. This clay is out to kill me. The one time I'm using it because I know it's gonna crack is the one time it doesn't actually crack. What? Well, at least now I know that if I don't want my cheap clay to crack, I can always just put it in the toaster. Okay. This is all hardened and it's time to baste them. I cut out a small piece from styrofoam board and I removed the paper from both sides of the foam because I've noticed that it actually, if you take both sides off, it doesn't warp. The issue with this is that your foam becomes a lot weaker. So, you know, you do you. I'm also using my friendly glue gun for this one. Just like in the previous episode, 
I'll be using the sculpt them all to add some of that rot detail. If you want to learn more about the rot, check out the Avatar of Rot lore video. And don't forget to add skulls, that's a must. Please ignore the flocking there, I had a brain fart by the end of this build here. I guess the rock got to me. But I do want to add some texture to the base. I go for something simple this time around and just add PVA glue and sand. Sand I got at the dollar store. When the sand settles and the PVA glue dries, I then add another layer of black Mod Podge mix. Make sure to add this in the areas you also use sculpt -a -mole. That's also a must. If you don't and you add washes, you're gonna regret using washes. Trust me, it happened to me. Not on this build, on the big boy build. I'm sorry, I feel like I completely dropped the ball on this one. I didn't record any of the painting process, but we are adding a bit of flock to it, so we'll pick up from there. I felt like it was missing something. To contrast all the red on the piece, we're adding a bit of green. I will admit this is the first time I add flock that's not homemade. And unfortunately, I completely fail at it. My bad. I feel like I started off on the right track, adding PVA glue and then the flock. Nothing fancy, but then I added way too much glue water. Half glue, half water, I think. The issue is that I'm pretty sure I'm using a whole bunch of glues that I mixed into this. And I'm talking about PVA glue, tacky glue, and the one that put the nail on the coffin, glossy Mod Podge. Yep, the grass dried glossy. I attempt to save it by dry brushing a not so dry yellow. Hope that helped. You guys let me know what you think. That should be it for the build. But if you have any questions, don't forget there's a comment section where you can comment. And I actually, I love answering. Even if it's not a question, I just love answering. Okay, let me uh, end this before I start rambling too much. Thank you very much to everybody that watches my content. Thank you very much to the people that comment. I'm starting to recognize some people down there commenting. It's kind of cool. Makes me feel like I'm a part of something, which is awesome. Thank you so much for everything so far. This has been an amazing journey. If you can't wait for the next episode, there's a lot of videos I have in the channel now. You can binge watch my stuff. That's weird. Ooh, never thought I'd be able to say that. Thank you very much again for everything. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.